how do you stop masturbating? How do you stop masturbating? That's the million dollar question. And before I get into these quick tips, first, I want to let you guys know, as I've said in other videos, these videos are targeted primarily to people that believe in Jesus Christ who are, who are Christians. So I say that because anybody is welcome to my channel. I love everybody. Everybody has you're welcome with open arms. However, sometimes I just want to let you know that I, I get people hit me up saying, well, I don't get this. or why did you say that? Or blah, 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 blah. It's because spiritual things are spiritually discerned. And it's my it's my hope that through these videos that can people can see if the power of God can operate in my life. He can operate in your life as well. Now, with that being said, how do you stop masturbation? I'm going to give you three quick tips on what you can do today, right now, to stop. Number one is recognize that your enemy is spiritual. It's not carnal. See, a lot of you guys are trying to stop masturbation by uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, which Cognitive behavioral therapy is not a bad thing. Uh, so with cognitive behavioral therapy, if you try to uh, replace, you know, the times that you masturbated with going out to the park or, or, or running or, or exercising. And don't get me wrong. Those things are good short term fixes. However, it does not get to the meat of the problem and the meat of the problem is that your enemy is utilizing your own tendencies against you. In particular, the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. So in other words, what the enemy is doing is he's using your body's antenna to, to, to fulfill his lust through, if you will. He's giving you these suggestions and that's why you're you've been so overcome with a spirit of lust that ultimately you end up masturbating and you end up doing it because you don't first and foremost recognize that your enemy is spiritual. You have to you have to start there first, folks. If you really want to stop uh, masturbating, you have to start understanding that your enemy is spiritual. Number one, number two, and I just sort of wrote 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 some tips down. No, number two, you need to be able to recognize your triggers, recognize the things that make you masturbate in the first place, right? So, for example, if you engaged in a conversation that was that was salacious, and all of a sudden now you're having lustful thoughts, if you saw something of pornography, uh. That made you have a lustful thought. If heck, you could have just been walking down the street and saw someone that made you have a lustful thought. You need to be able to recognize what's triggering you, and don't try to fool yourself to to that thing that's trying to trigger you. But recognize, hey man, this is triggering me. This is making me want to to keep one hundred, making me want to. I have all this energy built up, and now I got to go release it. And that release is what we call masturbation. So being able to recognize those triggers that are making you, not making you, yeah, that are, that, that, that are encouraging you to want to masturbate in the first place. So that's your step two. And your step three, and this is a big one right here, folks. Don't get into bed or go into that environment. When you're hot and heavy, when you feel like you're about to masturbate, see, see, a lot of you guys are, uh, 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 have these hot and heavy feelings, and you just have all this, uh, uh, all that energy built up, all that lust, the spirit of lust is is just on 100 right now, and then all of a sudden you say, you'll say, you know what, I'm just go to bed and sleep it off, and every single time that you hit that bed. What ends up happening? You end up masturbating. Every time you end up hitting that bed, you have trained your brain that once I hit this bed, once I hit this couch, then next thing you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at this porn. Next thing you know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at this, get this lotion. 
And next thing you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to masturbate. So what do you do instead of that? Well, when you feel that sensation come upon you, then that's where I like the cognitive behavior therapy, if you will. That's when it comes together. But you don't use, but but instead of you doing something natural, as with cognitive behavior therapy suggests, and yes, it can work. It could be a temporary fix. But I want you to have a long-term spiritual fix. I want you to take that same energy and I want you to go to God in prayer. I want you to worship. I want you to I want you to fast and watch it. See, the Bible gives you a promise. He said that if you resist the devil, he will what? He will flee from you. In other words, the more in other words, the more you tell him no, the stronger you'll get in your spirit. But the way that you do that is through worship, through praise, through adoration of the Father. And the more that you do that, then over time, you'll notice that the influence of masturbation will be less and less. And you want to do that until it passes over. Now, I can hear some of you saying, well, Dominique, what if I'm okay? I'm in my bad bed. And all of a sudden, I just have this overwhelming urge to masturbate. And guess what? Don't fool yourself. Then what you need to do is get up out of you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I was eating something, man, choking. What you need to do is you need to get up out of your bed and, and worship. You need to pray. I know that sounds deep, and I know that sounds super spooky, and it sounds too spiritual, but I'm telling you. The reason you keep falling is because you're sitting there in the bed and you keep and you it's almost you got this like this invisible presence over you, which it is. It's a, a demonic spirit trying to fool you into believing. Oh, yeah, you just sit there. Don't do anything. You know, it's going to be OK. And then next thing you know, it's not. You end up masturbating again. So, no, get your butt up out the bed. Get your butt up out that environment. And change the environment. The way you change the environment when a spirit of lust has entered is worship. You bring God into the environment. When God is in the environment, it's hard for that spirit to dwell. So, folks, there go my three quick tips on what you can do today in order to overcome master. If you want more informative tips and strategies, go to www.pornaddictshelp.com, www.pornaddictshelp.com. There I give over five hours worth of tips and strategies in depth, showing you what you need to do in order to overcome porn and masturbation. I love you guys and may God bless you.